First and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekah Kadash, and the all to those green millstones, while it is true, and also to the overlap that is scattered abroad. I like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson to the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And the title of the lesson is Prepare the Ambushes. So I like to say, Shalom to all our listeners. Hope this will you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So I have a little news article here, but I'm not going to go into it. I'm just going to read it. It said political border crisis. So we're not going to go in it. I have videos to bring it up with more edification, but this is uh, kind of being beginning to be a very uh, uh, most spoken about topic, topic about this border crisis, you know, how, uh, we constantly get a increase of migrants, you know, each and every day across the board, up in the hundreds of thousands. Or uh, is it by design or is it manufactured? But one thing about it, we're not ignorant of Satan device. We already know that these things are put in place, you know, say to bring forth another agenda. We already know what that agenda is, you know, this digital society. We already know a lot of things are happening when they're coming over from all across the world, you know, from Africa, from Syria from uh, Venezuela, from uh, China, from Russia, uh, Afghanistan, all over the place, you know, and the, it's constantly increasing. While all these migrants, these young uh, young military men from 18 to uh, 40 years of age constantly coming into America, coming in through the uh, southern border, the, uh, the Mexican and U.S. border, you know, it's just wide open, you know, it's constantly happening left and right. So it also is reports that these migrants are, 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 are doing all sorts of uh, uh, crime, you know, they're constantly breaking in people's houses. That's what reports that they're saying, saying they're getting into it with, uh, with the citizens, all sorts of uh, things are constantly uh, on the uptick, constantly what? Uh, uh, arising, we seeing that we coming upon this time. You know, we seeing that you know this um, the civil unrest is constantly what increasing. You know, what I'm saying could this be the purge, or could this be the takeover of America? This civil war. You know, this is invading for these sleeping cells. So it's rumors behind rumors. So we seeing what is going on right in that backyard. Also, they already have a terror uh, attack alerts all across America. So we're seeing they constantly bringing in these uh, so-called migrants, illegal migrants, or sleeper cells all across America, you know, in these major cities. So, you know, so we already know that it's just like a sleeping uh, a beauty. You know, it's just, hey, man, we're seeing this, um, uh, this Trojan horse. It is here. So, Hey, so so when you go into that word uh, ambush, you know, it's it's like a surprise attack of someone is lying and waiting or concealed, just like a what? A sleeper cell, or it could be what, a trap, a snare, or a lure. So we're seeing it constantly increasing, you know, left and right. They're constantly in just a, a floods after flood, a constantly increasing border crisis. And one thing about it, it's getting ready to be a time of trouble that we've never seen before. So... The title of the day lesson, once again, is Prepare the Ambushes. So I have a quick uh, precept. Let's go here to book to the book of Amos chapter 9 and verse 8. We'll start here. Uh, Amos chapter 9 and verse uh, 8. And the reason, behold, the eyes of the Lord power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, says the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh So the Lord eyes are upon the sinful kingdom. What is that sinful kingdom? A mark of Babylon the Great. The Lord's getting ready to destroy this place in what? In one hour. So we already know that we're right upon that time. You know, this place is, is getting ready to go. We seeing it. You know, all these things are constantly happening right here in America. The vibration is changed. And also the eyes of the Lord are the what? Are the angels, you know, the chariots. You know what I'm saying? You know, these are, these are the angels that rise around in these are. Uh, uh, what they ignorant call UFO or UAPs, you know, so, so those are the eyes of the most high. That's why we're seeing increased uh, uh, sightings of, of these 
uh, so-called UFO, which in fact they are the chariot of the Most High. So those are the eyes of the Most High constantly beholding the good and the evil. And, and one thing about it, it get ready to destroy this place. You know what I'm saying? In one hour, thy judgment comes. So we're seeing that this is getting ready to happen. So Lord is constantly uh, watching. He's seeing all these uh, abominations. He's seeing all this sin upon sin. Wickedness is constantly, it's exceedingly great. And, it's, and there are hurtful works all fulfilled. So we're seeing that this is happening right now. So the Lord is getting ready to cleanse this place. And what is that cleansing Cleansing agent? That is that what? That devouring fire, the indignation of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh. Those what? IBCM missiles. Don't enter uh, condemnation. Uh, ballistic missiles. They're getting ready to pavit the earth. These arrows are getting ready to fly. Things can go nuclear at any given time. World War Three has begun and also it's getting ready to escalate. We've seen it happening right before our eyes. So let's read this once again. Amos chapter 9 and uh, verse 8 said, Behold the eyes of the Lord power, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Those are the, what the chariot, the, the angels of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? These royal vehicles, the constantly uh, 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 constantly seeing increased sightings all across the world. UFOs, everywhere you look, we see it each and every day. The Lord is what is visiting the earth that he created. Uh, he said, uh, he said, let's read it again. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power, Yahweh, by Hashem, upon the sinful kingdom, America, Babylon the Great, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. So one thing about the Lord is going to bring forth judgment. And this place where there will be no inhabitant left here. We're constantly warning you left and right. The mental law warning before destruction. He said, and I will he said, destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, says the Lord. So one thing about when all these things happen, the Lord's going to have a remnant. And that remnant is the what the royal house of David. You know what I'm saying? You know, so Jacob, you know what I'm saying? Name was later changed to what? To Israel. You know, it's the Israel of the Most High. The Lord's getting ready to return set everything back in order so this is what is getting ready to happen they're constantly preparing uh the the ambush so the lord is, is this by design of who yahweh by shimmy you know the, the so-called white man he's not in control the lord is in perfect control you know the lord's constantly moving the chess piece around so we're seeing that things are constantly increasing we're seeing things are constantly rising we knowing that we are very close you know rejoice ye heaven so now let's start today's video and uh, after the video, we'll start the lesson, and I hope that you will get edified. The people are crossing today are coming from all over the world. We just apprehended yesterday someone from Lebanon. Now ask me, how does someone from Lebanon get here? How's that work? Nigeria, Syria, Iraq, China. How do they get here? Cuba. How do they get here? And why are they coming? And, you know, I was telling a Democrat congressman, woman the other day i said you know these aren't families coming here anymore these are single adult males for the most part between 18 and 40 where why, why are they coming here and why are we letting them in this i mean i was kind of having a little bit of fun with all the crazy things president biden wants to stop and eliminate and change in america the culture but this is life and death this is serious life and death fentanyl criminals killers drug dealer this is life and death and joe biden needs to secure the border where are you from syria 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 ah, what's your name milad milad why did you come to the u.s uh why coming to u.s no no english okay where are you from from syria syria english so so why are you coming to the u.s why come? Because we uh, we love America, and uh, we need uh, a nice style, a nice life. Yeah, coming uh, for jobs. Yeah, a nice job, a nice uh, because uh, our country uh, uh, very weird. What's your name? Danny. Danny. Good luck. Thank you. Where are you from? I'm from Syria. Syria. Too. What's your name? Ahmed. Ahmed? Ahmed. Uh, same question. Why do you come to the U.S.? Uh, I look Spanish or Arabic. Spanish. Where are you from? 
an organized gang of illegal migrants going around gated communities stealing millions. Homes here in the gated community at the Country Club of Detroit in Gross Point Farms. The organized burglary teams hitting here over the last weekend. And if a home backs up to trees or woods, it becomes a target. Thieves hiding there until they see their chance. Huge homes in Bloomfield Township were hit, then homes on private drives in Birmingham. The losses were in the millions. In our area, they are targeting jewelry, precious metals, high-end items such as purses, um, electronics, uh, currency, high-end watches, and if there's a safe that's not attached or they can either break into on scene or carry, they'll do that. Now remember, a team was arrested and charged in Bloomfield Township with a string of car break-ins and some burglaries. But tonight, sources continue to point to what the sheriff pointed to at the very start, that other organized teams out of South America have been hitting high-end homes out west and now have made their home right here. Here's another thing that we're not hearing or seeing in these high-end burglaries. Look, there's no video of these guys. There's video cameras everywhere, especially on these homes, but they're able to get around that somehow. There are alarm systems all over these homes, in the homes, outside of the homes. They're getting around that. He's talking about some dang getting caught on camera and shit like that. Like, this shit was, like, orchestrated or something? This shit getting out of hand. And they over here paying these motherfuckers all types of shit? Make this shit make sense. So one thing about it, we're not ignorant of Satan the Vice. So we said that they, they constantly bringing all these different uh, 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 problems, all this chaos, you know, to bring forth that enterprise. We already know what this is all about. In the middle of we what? Foresee the evil. And one thing about it, things is going to constantly be on the up uptick. And also we know that the it is getting ready to hit the fan. So we'll start the day lesson, quick lesson through the spirit. And once again, I hope that you will get edified. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 51. Jeremiah chapter 51. So like I'm in the New Testament, so like it. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 51. And uh, we'll start up at verse 1. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 1. He said, thus, thus said the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. So one thing about it, going into that door, destroying wind, it goes into these, what, IBCM missiles. You know, these uh, nuclear uh, missiles that is getting ready to pivot, uh certain parts of this earth. You know, and, they, and also it's going to destroy Babylon the Great, which in fact is AKA America. You know, it's getting ready to destroy this place off the face of the earth. You know, one thing about it, the Lord is going to destroy this place. You know, it will not be in it inhabited left here. So the Lord is, you know, have his eyes upon the sinful kingdom. We are right upon judgment. The Lord is getting ready to aid. Hey, what was done to us is getting ready to be done to what? To these uh, other nations, these heathen nations for the what? The condom Conservation of Zion, also these what these two third these rebels, the Lord's get ready, hey man, get ready to do a mighty work. Let's read this again. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 1 said, Thus said the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon, America, and against them that dwell in the midst of, of them that rise up against me a destroying wind, the IBCM miss the indignation of Yahweh by Shema outside the divine fire. You know, that's going, hey man, it's going to be in every place. <laughs> One thing about it, it's going to what? Melt the elements. You know, will be nothing left here. Um, verse two, it said, and I will send into Babylon uh, fanners, uh, enemies that shall fan her and shall empty her land for in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. So we we beginning to see that left and right. All every, all these nations are constantly uh, rising up against the whole Babylon, the great America. We're seeing it left and right on every side. We're seeing it constantly happening. That great multitude, you know, is kindled uh, around us, you know. So we we seeing that things are going to constantly increase. We're seeing that we're coming upon these perilous times, left and right. You know, this place is getting ready to be very desolate. It's getting ready to be a third world country. We're seeing it. You know, everything is constantly what? Is on, on, on the downside. Everything is constantly uh, falling. We're seeing it. The economy. We're seeing the infrastructure. You know, these, these things are constantly on the uptick. We're seeing uproars of the people. A lot of things are happening. So, getting ready to send these fanners, you know, these uh, these uh, uh, militaries around the world are getting ready to come in here and tear these places uh, to pieces. Verse 2 again, it said, And I will send unto uh, Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For the day, for the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. Verse three says, "Against 
against him that beneth, beneth let the archer bend uh, his bow and against him that lifted himself up in his uh, brigadine or armory and spare ye not her young men destroy ye utterly all her host. Verse 4 says, Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they that are thrust through in her street. So we're getting ready to come upon that time. We're seeing it. It's lining up just like clockwork. And one thing about it is constantly increasing. We're seeing the influx of these migrants. We're seeing that, you know, they constantly going to uh, these different cities, talking about these gated, gated uh uh, communities, gated uh, neighborhoods going in, talking about they going in, they stealing this, stealing that. Hey, man, one thing about it, you know, we're seeing that, you know, this is all by design. We're seeing, we're seeing that the Lord is constantly making what Esau bear and bear. You know, no one seen them on camera, but they still in millions of merchandise. Come on now. You know, hey, man, we seeing this happening right before I, you already know what they're trying to call what? Total chaos, order out of chaos. Let's drop down to verse six. It said, flee out of midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off uh, off in her iniquity. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance and he will render um, unto her a recompense. So one thing about it is that, you know, you know how do you flee out, of, uh, fl flee out of Babylon? You know, flee out of this, what this mindset, you know, flee out of this, uh, these uh, philosophy. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said, don't go in the ways of the heathen or these Gentiles. You know what I'm saying? A lot of our people are uh, still love it here. You know, they still uh, relax it in their leaves, still are not considered, still are not aware. When they say peace and safety, you know, the total destruction will come upon us. So you, you got to be aware. You got to be redeeming the time because the times are evil. So we see it right here, flee out of midst of Babylon with that mindset. Also, the Lord is going to come and deliver us with great glory and great power. That is those, those, what, those fathership, those chariots. You know, that's how we're going to eventually get out of here. You know, only way out of here is up. So, hey, man, one thing about it, we got to go up, constantly trust and believe in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Verse, verse uh, 7, he said, Behold, I mean, uh, Salaka, Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nation have drunken of her wine, Therefore, the nations are mad. We're seeing it right before our eyes. So, you know, that golden cup, it was a, a mark. So we see in this place is on the what? On, 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 on its way out. You know, the, 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 these other nations, they beginning to see that, hey, that this place is, is drying up. It's washed up. You know, so we seeing it right now. This place is constantly on the what? On the decline. Uh, verse 8, it said, Babylon is suddenly falling and, and destroy a howl for her. Take bomb for her pain. If so, be she may be healed. Verse nine said, "We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go every one unto his own country, for her judgment reaches into the heavens and is lifted up even to the sky." Verse ten, the Lord has brought forth our righteousness. Said, "Come and let us declare in Zion the works of the Lord, our power." Verse 11 said, make bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord has raised up the spirit of the kings of the means, which in fact is what the, the spirit of the mean, uh, the, the, the spirit of the kings of the means are what Russia for his device is against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. So that's what we see in right now. The Lord's going to bring for a judgment upon this place. You know? So a lot of people still are, uh, 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 thinking that they have time. He's still thinking that America will never be attacked. They feel that uh, America is the uh, hammer of the whole earth. They feel that uh, we still are the, uh, are the world's superpower. But one thing about it, hey, this place is getting ready to go very quickly, right before your eyes in one hour. Verse, uh, uh, verse uh, 12, it says, Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make the watch. Strong, set up the watchman, prepare the ambush, or prepare the what? The trap, Re pre prepare the what? The snare, uh, betray, uh, prepare the what? The lure, also a what? A surprise attack, or a what? Uh, someone lying and waiting. These are sleepers here. So, so pre prepare the ambushes, for the Lord has both devised and done that which. 
he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. Hey, man, the Lord is constantly making it happen. Left and right, this place got to go. This is getting ready to be a burnt offering of Yahweh by Hashem. Let's read this again. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 12. It set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make the watch strong. Set up the watchman. Prepare the ambush. Prepare the what? The trap, the snare, or the lure. Said, for the Lord has both devised and done that which he has has spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. Verse 13 says, O thou that dwellest upon many waters, abundance and treasures, thy end is come, and the measure of thy covenants. So that's what's getting ready to happen to Babylon. So, you know, the Lord is setting up the, what the ambush, setting up the snap. I mean, the snare, the trap. You know, they are lying and waiting. Who is lying and where? These sleeper cells, these uh, what, illegal migrants. You know, they are in place. They are ready to get what? Activated. They are ready to get to what? The green light to what? The brain also uh, havoc and confusion. Insurrect sedition among men. All these things are getting ready to happen. You know, kill or be killed. These things, it's on the uprise. So any given time, all of a sudden. So, hey, we seeing that we're here. It's time to watch. Pray and be sober. So now, let's go here to Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 38. Ezekiel. <clears throat> Ezekiel 38. And I think it's around verse 11. Ezekiel chapter 38. And verse 11 said, And thou, and thou shall say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages, and I will go to them that are at rest, that dwell safely, all of them dwelling with, without walls and having no bars nor gates. So, hey, man, it, it, it's spot on. That's America, Babylon, the Greeks. So we see in our southern border, you know, there's no, no what? No bars, no gates, unwalled village. It's just walking right on in. And they come to say, I'm coming to America to have a better life. I'm coming to America to uh, study this or study that. All of lies and deceit. They are, you know, it's in the UN and also in collaboration with these other nations. They are finances, a whole thing to what? To take down America. And one thing about it, and set up this new, uh, this this NWO, you know, one world currency, one world government, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, one world religion. And also, all roads lead to that, what? That grain of rice. This place is wide open by design, it has been manufactured. One thing about it, we know that he will not be able to perform his enterprise. Verse 12, it said, To take a spoil and to take a prey, to turn thy hand upon the desolate places that are now inhabited and upon the people that are gathered out of the nation which have gotten cattle and goods that dwell in the midst of the land. So hey, this, they get ready to make this place very desolate. This place is, you know what I'm saying? They get ready to what? To rise up and what? Against the prey. You know what I'm saying? What is the prey? America. You know what I'm saying? And they're what? They're citizen. And also this, this is going to kick off what? Jacob's trouble. And who will be the more, more in trouble is the, what? The Negroes, the Latinos, the Native Indians. And one thing about it, we already know it's going to be a global event, but we'll be the most in trouble. So we seeing that the enemy it's getting ready to come in like a flood, man. Hey, man, we're very close to these unwalled villages. So a lot of people, well, they're eating good right now. They're drinking good in the house of America, laughing and smiling, having a great old time, not paying attention. Don't know who they are. Don't know what time that we're living in. Oh, that's not going to happen. This is not going to happen. And bam, all hell will break loose. Let's go back to something I missed out of uh, Jeremiah. Let's go back to Jeremiah chapter 51. One verse I missed out. We're going to go back to it right now. Jeremiah chapter 51, I think it's verse 15 that I was trying to get. Let me, let me see right quick. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 51, I think it's around verse, if I'm not mistaken, 15. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 15. Let's see. No, that's not it. Let's see. Let's see. Verse 14. Let's get this right here. I want to get this. Uh, I just want to read that. I missed it. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 14. The Spirit led me back here. It said, The Lord of hosts has sworn by himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars, and they shall lift up a shout against thee. So one thing about it is, so you already know how a lot of caterpillars be on a leaf or 
or maybe a little small little branch, they fills it up and they devour it, you know. So that's, you know, it's kind of, uh, 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 it's kind of parabolic. But one thing about it, we already know that this place is getting filled up, you know, with men, you know, these what? Uh, young military age men constantly coming across the board, left and right in the number and the, hey, man, the numbers are constantly going out. And also we know that the, what, the body count is getting ready to be great coming from all, all, all uh, I mean, everywhere, all different uh, nations and tongues. And also they coming from all different backgrounds. You know, these guys getting out of prison, you know, we got a lot of killers, a lot of uh, uh, men that are, are, are very, uh, what you call these, uh, Super soldiers, these uh these elite soldiers are coming in here. So hey man, it's getting ready to rip this place to pieces. Hey man, America is getting ready to be the prey. And one day they shall what burn the whore. So we already know this place is constantly filling up with men like uh caterpillars. You know, so we seeing it right now. Many are coming, and the number is constantly increasing. What by has it been engineered or manufactured? But it's all through the what the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. Prepare the ambush, that trap, the snare, the lure. A lot of people are still sleep. While you're sleeping, the devil is constantly getting busy. So now let's go here to uh, uh, First Thessalonians chapter five. Get ready to close out. Talked enough. Uh, First Thessalonians chapter 5, we start up at the top at verse 1. He said, But of the times and season, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. So we know what time that we're living in. We're living in the end time, real time. We're seeing all the prophecies lining up just like clockwork. These prophecies are speaking loud and clear. Verse 2 it said, For yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Verse 3, For when they shall say peace and safety. Then sudden destruction comes upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. So we're in a time of peace and safety right now, but all of a sudden, you know, things can go nuclear. Things can go, what, uh, a very, very, what, uh, evil time, a very perilous time. Jacob's trouble. You know, it's just like right now, you know, this is the quiet before the storm. So a lot of people is going to be off guard. A lot of people going to be uh, 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 very uh, uh, bugged out of their mind. You know, they're going to be in for a rude awakening. Why is all this happening? You might wake up one morning. You might see uh, the skies full of all sorts of helicopters, all sorts of military uh aircraft, you know what I'm saying, dropping bombs here and there, you know, and, uh, man, I'm telling you, it's going to be a war zone very soon, right before our eyes. Verse 3 again said, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So one thing about it, no one is going to escape the hands of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, that judgment, that recompense and judgment. So it is payday. What was done to us is getting ready to be done to them. The Lord is a master chess player. And one thing about it, we constantly trust and believe in Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. So now, let's go to our last and final script. Let's go here to Luke chapter 21. We'll close out here. Luke chapter 21. We'll start up at verse 34 and we read down. Say, and and take heed to yourself, lest at any time your heart or your mind be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that the day come upon you unaware. So a lot of people are gonna be unaware because what they're not considering, you know, they are going on with their daily life, you know, uh the the, the busy the busy body of this uh world, you know, or um I got to get to my hair appointment, I got to get to my job, you know, I got to go uh and finance this, I gotta go do this, not thinking of what's going on around it. Evils are growing on every side. You know, so one thing about it, hey man, don't be uh uh over uh overcharged and over surfeiting and drunkenness. You know, you gotta have a, what a stable mind. Mind, you know, uh, keep the right mindset. Wisdom and knowledge should be what the stability of the time. Verse thirty-five said, "For as a snare or a trap shall it come, or ambush, uh, shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth." Verse thirty-six said, "Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things." that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh So we already know that the great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh it is fast approach. And also our salvation, it is at the door. We see it happening left and right. So it's just like a hair trigger. Things can, what, something can set it off 
at any given time. Watch, pray, be sober, have a stable mind when these things come upon us. And one thing about it, the Lord said he will protect us. He will provide for us. And also the Lord is getting ready to come to deliver us with great glory and great power. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is prepare the ambushes. So I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekha Kadash. I like to say, Shalom, Shalom.